Uh, two short topics in both cases. Uh, Congress wants to communicate sa ating mga kababayan that we follow the biblical principle na kung anong iyong tatanim, yun din ang iyong aanihin. No? So dito sa response natin sa national health crisis sa COVID-19, kung anong ating itatanim in the next few days will determine what will happen to us in the next few weeks and months. No? So Congress will be working despite the break in the next five weeks. Uh, the majority leader has assured me that the committees will continue to function, but we want to do it executive legislative. So dalawang aspect to, yung prevention, yung sa health. No? Uh, the other aspect naman dun sa mga may sakit na, o kaya yung mga health workers na maaaring maapektuhan at kailangan i-quarantine, that's one aspect, yung health. The other aspect is yung mga tatamaan indirectly, meaning yung kanilang livelihood, di ba? So may mga areas na ngayon na mas konti na pumupunta sa mga uh, restaurants, may of course yung tourism is already uh, suffering. So we want to put together a package that was not predicted by the 2020 budget. No? And we want to involve not only the executive and legislative but the private sector. No? So this will include also, for example, asking our banks what they can do regarding interest rates and loans sa mga small businesses. This will also include, um, you know, asking businesses na kung bibigyan ng leave yung mga uh, empleyado nila with pay. Uh, this will also include some stimulus, di ba? Uh, paano maglagay ang gobyerno ng pera? Baka may mga proyekto na dapat third or fourth quarter pa popondohan ng gobyerno. Baka pwede na nilang simulan this summer, no? Para may trabaho ang mga tao at gumagalaw ang ating uh, uh, ekonomiya. So we'll update you on that, but uh, the Congress will continue to have session till tomorrow, then continue our committee hearings uh, during the break. Uh, everything has a silver lining. So ang silver lining dito sa COVID-19 is that uh, most members will be in the country during this next five, six weeks. So we will use them as a resource. Uh, hindi lang dito pwede mag-hearing, pwede din sa kanila kailang mga distrito. Uh, second silver lining, ang media ngayon nakafocus sa health. So, lubhang napabayaan ang ating uh, health sector. As you know, 20, 30 years ago, nagkaroon ng brain drain na lumipat din yung mga ibang doktor, nag-nurse out the country. But in the last 10 years siguro, may resurgence of investment sa uh, uh, health facilities, uh, health professionals, pero kulang pa rin. No? So, what Congress wants to find out is what do we need and how do we get it right away? Uh, Sang ayon ako kay Senator Brilon na dapat we don't do away with bidding per se. But remember, this is an emergency situation. Kung magbibidding ka and it takes 30 to 45 days, and by the time matapos ang bidding, wala nang supply nung binibili mo, bali wala din. So the, the procurement law should not be used as an, ex an excuse. Hindi dapat ito gamitin at uh, tanggalin just so that uh, people can buy at the price they want. No? But we also have to be conscious that means that may bibiling ka and if you do it through, not through emergency purposes, people will never get it. Diba? Imagine niyo yung uh, health kit. Diba? Kung normal procure, uh, yung uh, test kits. Diba? Kung yung test kit and normal procurement, ano, 45 days from now pa tayo magkakaroon ng, ano, ng uh, test kit. No?